Sometimes when you're quilting larger quilts on your Sweet 16, it's important to have some extra table space. Handy Quilter offers extensions that you can add on to one or both sides of your table. So let's go ahead and install one. So I've unboxed everything and I've laid it out. First you'll have your instruction sheet, which is pretty important. You'll have plastic hinge shims, then your hinge clips, and then your actual hinge assembly. You should also have 12 screws, your actual table leaf, and then you'll need to find a Phillips screwdriver as well as a straight edge that we'll use to line up the leaf before we screw it all together. So the first thing that you'll want to do is flip your table over, and if you can do that on a soft surface, that's the best. Then you're going to want to decide which side you're going to put the leaf on. So when I flip my table over, I have it on the right side, so when I flip it back up, it will be on my right hand side. Next, we're going to remove these two screws, and you'll notice that on your hinge assembly, there are two holes. We're going to need to save those screws so that we can replace this piece under here with our hinge assembly and then screw it back on. I'm going to go ahead and remove the screws. And we'll set these aside so that they're safe. Next, let's go ahead and remove this piece under here and it should slide out pretty easily. And we're going to replace that with our hinge assembly. When you're sliding the hinge piece in, it helps if you pull upwards on this piece so that it slides in easily. You'll notice that it's snug, which is good. Then, once our holes are lined up, we can replace our screws. You'll also want to make sure that your hinge piece has the slots up against the bottom of the top part of the table. So right underneath where the top of your table would be. I've tightened my screws for my hinge, so that's in place now. And now I'm going to slide my leaf over and we'll get that into position so we can screw it in. You'll notice that there are some pre-drilled holes here and on the other side there are no holes. So you'll want to make sure that the side that's nice and smooth is facing downward so that when you put your table back up, it'll be on your tabletop. The other thing to know is there is an edge around this leaf and the way they put the edge on it needs to come to a seam. So there's a very small seam where those edges meet and you'll want to orient that to the back of your table. So my front is here and the back of my table is here and my seam is here. So we want it this way, opposed to being flipped around. Now that we have our leaf in place, let's go ahead and attach the hinge clips. So let's close the hinge assembly for now. And you'll notice that these two pieces are symmetrical and they each have a pin. We want those pins to be towards each other, opposed to being away from each other. So we'll go ahead and orient those towards each other and each one of these curves is going to go in the slot of our hinge assembly. So you can just lightly lift the table up and slide those in place. Now that we've put in our hinge clips, let's go ahead and push the leaf towards the table so it's nice and flush and then you're going to take your straight edge and put it along the front of the table where it will be when we stand it up and make sure that it's nice and flush. Okay. Now let's go ahead and make sure that our back is straight. We're going to take our hinge clips and you can kind of see the holes there. We want to pull our hinge clips away from the table so they're tight here and then there will be three holes in these slots. Don't worry, there's not going to be any holes in your middle slots. After you've done that, let's go ahead and add our screws. I like to put them in halfway at first to make sure that they can all fit in nicely and then I go back and tighten them afterwards. You'll want to do this to both hinge clips. Once you've tightened down all the screws on your hinge clips, it's a good idea to just double check and make sure that your hinge assembly lines up with these pins. So there's a hole here and when I open that, it should snap on to the pins. So that looks good. Once you have your hinge clips all screwed in like I do, 
you'll take your plastic shims and we're going to screw those on next. Now you'll notice that there are two sets of holes that this could fit on. And the reason there's two is because the extension is universal to either side of your table. So because we're putting it on the right side, we want to put the plastic shims further away from the hinge clips opposed to closer. So we'll go ahead and line those up and you'll just take your screws and screw those in. And this is just like with our hinge clips, we want to place these symmetrically, not the same direction. Because when we open our hinge assembly, these are going to snap and hold it into place. So because that one swings that way, we want to orient our plastic shim that way. And this one swings this way, so we want it to lock this way. Now that I have my plastic shims all screwed down so they're nice and tight, let's go ahead and open our hinge assembly one more time. And we're going to make sure that our pin lines up with the hole. And that also this holds the end of the hinge assembly in place. So that should just snap right up into place. And you'll notice that there's a little button here that you can push so that when you release your leaf and you want to fold it back down, you can just push the button and push the hinge assembly closed again and the leaf will fold down. So now that we have our table extension all assembled, we can flip our table over by one of two ways. We can leave the leaf on and just open the hinge so that it's tight or you can even close the hinge and take the leaf off, flip your table over and then hook it back on using the hinge clips. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it on and let's go ahead and reassemble the legs of the table and then we can just tip it back up. All right, so we've set our table back upright and now anytime that you want to put the extension up, you just open the latch and lock it. And when you want to move it down, you just push on that little thumb button that we showed, push the hinge assembly in, and then the extension can just lay flat.